All right, here's almost 12:15 on this Wednesday afternoon and across Connecticut. Things are quiet here. We'll have the latest on a threat for some thunderstorms coming up in just a moment. We're also tracking, of course, Dorian, where we now have hurricane warnings that go as far north as the border of North Carolina with uh, with Virginia. So this is a storm that eventually could have some implications on our weather here in southern New England. More on that as well in just a moment. Right now we've got temperatures between 75 and 80 across the state. A developing southwesterly flow up uh, these winds out of the southwest around 10 to 15 miles an hour, bringing a much warmer and also much muggier air mass into southern New England. We've got dew point temperatures between 65 and 70, and those numbers go up a little bit more this afternoon. So uh, with the sunshine that we have, the atmosphere is becoming a bit more unstable. You throw in an approaching cold front, the ingredients come together for some thunderstorms this afternoon that could be strong, possibly even severe. But in the in the meantime, our can view from Hartford showing hazy sunshine, similar scene coming in from New Haven, and as well some scattered clouds checking out the scene live uh, from New London. So between 80 and 85s, we're is where we expect temperatures to top out inland today. A couple degrees cooler with that wind coming off the, uh, the the cooler, relatively speaking, waters of the sound. And early warning pinpoint Doppler also for the time being, it is scanning clear and dry. But uh, there are developing thunderstorms to our west and northwest along uh, a cold front that is eventually going to be working southeastward into Connecticut. So in advance of that, watching some development to the south of Albany and then along the front itself as it makes its way into Connecticut uh, just in time for our evening commute today. So the Storm Prediction Center again has outlined a good part of southern New England, including most of Connecticut and the risk area for uh, strong to severe storms this afternoon. And a watch box is likely forthcoming soon that could include part, if not maybe even all of the state. So here's future cast looking at tomorrow's weather today at the noon hour, watching those storms to our northwest slide southeastward. So I'd say in the three o'clock hour, likely nearing or moving into extreme northwest Connecticut. And then they're going to be fairly fast moving as they make their way to the east and southeast. So as we head toward and through the evening commute, say, by 5 o'clock, reaching Hartford, New Haven, along 8491. So certainly impacting travel uh, all across Connecticut. Then by 7 o'clock this evening, the storms are exiting, winding down, pushing out of southern New England. So behind this cold front, high pressure builds in for tomorrow. We'll see a, a clearing trend later on this evening. Clear skies to start our day tomorrow. Then watch what happens with these clouds down to our south streaming northward. This is the far northern extent of some cloud cover associated with Dorian. But it's not later until Friday into Friday night that we'll see potentially some wind and some rain from this storm. So speaking of Dorian, uh, the center of the storm about 200 or so miles to the south of Charleston, South Carolina. It is paralleling the east coast of Florida as it's heading in the general direction of Georgia, but it is forecast to take a turn to the northeast as we head through the next 24 to 48 hours. There's the stop at uh, Thursday 8 a.m. Uh, nearing the coast of South Carolina, riding right along the coast, perhaps interacting with land. It's going to be a close call as it skirts the coastline there of the Carolinas. And then by Friday morning, emerging off the Outer Banks and then the center of the storm staying well southeast of southern New England, but close enough that we could have from this some some gustier wind or some breezy wind uh, later Friday into early Saturday. The strongest of the wind, those you can see here, stays well offshore from southern New England as we head Friday into Saturday. Uh, with regard to the impacts on New England, uh, it's all Atlantic facing coastline basically that will have the main issues here with swells, uh, rip current concerns, as well as uh, the dangerous surf. Uh, some wind and some rain that will be possible later Friday into early Saturday. And then as we head into the upcoming week and clearing by Saturday afternoon, Sunday highs in the mid 70s and then pretty quiet, tranquil weather by early next week. Eventually morning low temperatures could go into the, uh, the 40s for shoreline highs after today in the 70s for the foreseeable future. All Can't right. Well, we'll keep an eye out for the people in the south. Just incredible. The video that's coming out of the Bahamas, those yeah. poor neighborhoods. Uh, wind gust over 200 miles an hour. Pretty, pretty amazing. And, and in the meantime, we're going to be watching very closely the threat for the severe storms here in Connecticut this afternoon. Keep you updated on all of our social media platforms, the Channel 3 app. And of course, we'll cut in right here when and if necessary.